Yes, good morning. It is a situation in which a person unable to complete its basic needs like food, shelter, Yes, a person which, which is unable to complete their basic needs is considered as a below poverty. For the estimation of a poverty, we are following as a two of the methodologies, one as an expenditure method and income method. Expenditure method and income method. In expenditure method, we discuss as a total expenses of, done by the individuals by the individuals for completion of their needs for which we discuss as a minimum caloric consumption required by a person in urban areas as a 2100 calories in rural areas as 2400 calories now today as the income method income method income method this method is used by the government for distribu distribution of food grains among masses. Government, government organize agencies for distribution of food grains among poorer, among socially and economically backward classes, socially and economically backward classes through PDS system, public distribution system, public distribution system, PDS system, through which the government and their agencies, food grains distributing among socially and economically backward sections of society, socially and economically backward sections of society, in income method, government, Government use their agencies for distribution of food grains among masses through public. So government has basically hiring as agencies which are responsible for distribution of food grains at a low prices to socially and economically backward sections. Socially backward as a depressed classes and economically backward as a those which are lies as under poverty which are lies under the poverty. Those groups which are lies under the poverty, for such group of a people, government distributing the food grains to public distribution system, means Russian shops. Russian shops. Russian shops are not directly management. Government has given the contract to the private agencies. Such agencies are responsible for distribution of a such food grains at controlled prices. Control means uh, lower than the market price. Lower than market price. Uh, price. For example, two rupees per kg, two rupees per kg as a wheat, three rupees rice, and a 20 rupees as pulses. Cereals are given at a two rupees wheat, three rupees rice, and a 20 rupees for a pulses, especially for a such sections which can't complete their basic necessities food, shelter, clothing. For such economically and backward sections, economically and socially backward sections of society, food grains are distributed to the ration shops for which as a government has a responsible. Government responsible. Under this, under this income method, poverty line is fixed by the government. Poverty line fixed by the government Poverty line fixed by the government. Those individuals which are spending 324 rupees in a month, 324 rupees in rural areas, 324 rupees 
per person per month in rural areas 324 rupees per person per month in rural areas and 424 rupees per person per month in urban areas 424 rupees per person per person per month in urban areas a person which is spending as a such amount of a money for completion of their completion of their needs in a rural and urban areas are considered the above poverty line they are considered as the above poverty line so all such families whose total income in a total income in a month is less than the poverty line fixed by the government are considered as below poverty line so those families which are unable to complete as their basic needs as according to the government criteria it was as a data based upon a 2000 2001 20 years back the present scenario as a situation is a because high in a prices of our goods increase in a prices of our goods the present demand of a society as the different but we are still as a following as a same as a same 328 rupees in rural areas a person which is spending is considered above poverty line 424 rupees in a urban areas 424 rupees in urban areas those of the families which are spending such amount of a income such amount of a money for completion of their needs they are considered as a so they are considered as a above poverty line which are unable to complete as a such number of a needs through the spendings that amount of a income they are considered a below poverty line below poverty line clear they are considered as the below poverty line they are considered as the below poverty line now the question arises what is a poverty line what is a poverty line at what uh, at what level of the extent we can measure that the, that is as the poverty line below of which as the poorers above of which are the excluded from the poorers ex, uh, excluded from the poverty groups poverty line poverty line is the line poverty line is a line in which indicates which indicates which indicates the level of purchasing power level of purchasing power required level of purchasing power required to satisfy the minimum needs to satisfy the minimum needs of a person in other words we can say as it represents poverty line represents poverty line represents the capacity to satisfy capacity to satisfy capacity to satisfy the minimum level of human needs minimum level of human needs poverty line is a method used to measure used to measure poverty line is a method used to measure poverty based on the income or based on the income or consumption level consumption level consumption level poverty line it may vary with the time and the place for all the number all the different countries of a world continents or the states of a india we can't use as a 
same criteria. It may be as a vary from place to place. Place to place. It's due to as a per capita income. Per capita income of a different areas are, is a different. Punjab is a more prosperous. Punjab, Haryana are the, considered as a prosperous states comparatively the Bihar and Urissa, which are the poorer states. Which are the poorer states due to as a natural resources. If the natural resources are there, if the more number of abundant number of natural resources are available, which is supportive for the growth of our economy comparatively the such economies where natural resources are not adequately present. Such economies are lagging behind where natural resources are not present. Clear? That's why as a poverty line has varied from place to place, state to state, country to country, they, it varies. It varies. The line divides, this poverty line divides, this poverty line divides, divides the population into two groups. Poverty line divides population into two groups, into two groups. One of those who have the purchasing power, who have the purchasing power is known as above poverty line, means a person which is spending more than 328 rupees in rural areas and 424 rupees in urban areas consider as above poverty line, those who can complete their basic needs or having the purchasing power for completion of their necessities consider as above poverty line and the other group, other group, other group of those people who do not, who do not have the much of purchasing power, who do not have those who do not have the much of purchasing power is known as below poverty line, is known as below poverty line is known as below poverty line. This poverty line, it's determined in India. Poverty line determined in India through a minimum level of food requirements. Poverty line determined in India through a minimum level of food requirements clothing, footwears, light, light, fuel, educational and medical requirements, educational and medical requirements, educational and medical requirements. Those families which are those individuals which are spending, this is as a definition given by the planning commission in relation to the poverty, those individuals which are spending, which are spend 32 rupees in a day, 32 rupees in a day for completion of their basic needs, 32 rupees in a day for completion of their basic needs is considered above poverty line. Such number of individuals are considered above poverty line. Those individuals which are spending 32 rupees in a day for completion of, for completion of their basic necessities, they are considered above poverty line, which are unable as a below poverty line those which can't spend as a 32 rupees 
they are considered as a below poverty line. This is as a definition which was as a given by the Planning Commission in the 1970s. In the 1970s, the definition given by the Planning Commission, that organization which is responsible for a sectoral growth in economy, it explains the poverty in that context. As compared to this, the World Bank explains the poverty. World Bank explains poverty, explains poverty in that context in which they mark a person spending $1 in a day. $1 in a day is considered, is considered above poverty line. And those who are unable to uh, spend as a $1 in a day for their basic necessities are below poverty line. They are considered as a below poverty line. A set estimation is there through which they can distinguish in between as the poorest and the others. After the seven years of Indian independence, where the due to inflation hike in prices, hike in prices, price, goods are very expensive. In such economy, 32 rupees are not sufficient to complete the basic needs. In that economy, where inflation increasing, the hike in prices leads to the increasing the prices of our goods. In that situation, 32 rupees is not sufficient to complete the basic necessities. Let's take as one example, in a present economy, even in a 2001, 2022, January 2022, wheat flour selling in a market at the amount of a 30 rupees. 30 rupees. Wheat flour selling at a amount of a 30 rupees. So if any of a family, there are a five members are there. Five individuals are there. So 30 rupees, they are spending on a wheat flour. Then for Cooking purposes, whatever the source of our energy they are used, cylinder, cook, uh, fuel wood, any of a source, then the milk, then sugar, other number of our goods, then 32 rupees are not sufficient for it. Sufficient criteria of a 30 yeah. But till at present, as a poverty line has estimated through as a that criteria. That criteria. Till there, any questions? In our country, that poverty estimation is a responsibility of a central statistical organization. Central statistical organization, CSO. CSO, Central Statistical Organization. Central Statistical Organization. Organization. Central Statistical Organization is responsible to estimate the poverty trends in country. Poverty trends for which as a, another agency as a supportive for the calculation of a data as a NSSO, National Sample Survey Organization. National, National Sample Survey Organization, which has calculating the data for a census. Volunteers are coming towards the families, which has asking a questions related with the family members. Number of the individuals, how many are the educated, uneducated, how many are the employed, what is the source of the employment. So to which as a CSO obtained the information, CSO, Central Statistical Organization, obtained the information from a NSSO analysis to which they formulate as their economic policies. Then government has makes as a economic policies, the employment generation programs for such areas where unemployed or a poverty trend is a more, more existing comparatively the other areas. Such areas are more benefited to as a government schemes. Clear? Till there any questions? Next is a causes of poverty in India. What are the causes, reasons of poverty in India? What are the reasons responsible for poverty in India? Yes, what are the reasons responsible for 
poverty in India. Very good, Ramni. Illiteracy. Yes, anybody else? Illiteracy is responsible for the poverty. Unemployment, which leads to the poverty. Yes, any other? Dependence on agriculture resources is the reason responsible. Very good, Eva. Increasing high growth of a population is responsible for a poverty. Monopoly, monopoly is not existing in a present economy. Monopoly, monopoly means that kind of a market situation, economic conditions. Panika low per capita income. Why it there is a low per capita income because of a agricultural dependence. People are more, but services unemployment is existing. Job opportunities are not increasing. That's why the per capita income is a low. Per capita income is a result, not as a cause. Clear? Poor health care facilities. Health care facilities leads to the poverty. Health care facilities influence over the death rate. If the medical, medical facilities are not adequate in our country, then the, it will hike the, it will increase as a death number of deaths. Increase in prices is a impact. This is as a result. Yes, monopoly. We were talking about a monopoly. The monopoly means when a limited number of producers are there. If the limited number of producers, single producer is present in a market, in market, a one producer is there which has manufacturing a good. It can set the prices of a that particular that particular good at their own. Nobody, it will be as a control over it. Under such circumstances, the consumers are bound to purchase the goods at purchase the goods at a whatever the prices set by the producers. At the time of a British age, British age, limited number of producers were there, not as a better choices given to the consumers. So consumers, they were bound to purchase as a goods at a high prices or a low graded. In a present economy, multiple number of producers are there. Multiple number of producers. In that state, in that state, consumers, they will choose as a thus, that product which will be as a more beneficial and a cheaper. For which all the producers, they try to increase their sales to the decrease in prices and giving them more incentives. Monopoly aaj exists nahi karti hai. Monopoly is not existing in a present economy. Clear? So the cause is responsible for the cause is responsible for poverty in India. First, British rule. British rule. British rule. Yes, here we can use as a monopoly word. British rule. During as a British rule, a British policies, they adversely impact over a economy. When we're talking about the revenue systems, revenue systems benefited to the, the revenue systems beneficial for the Britishers to which they increase as their profits in India. Britishers introduce as a commercialization of agriculture in which they introduce as indigo, opium, tea, such crops which reduce as a fertility of lands. So, British policies adversely impact on economy, adversely impact on economy, which visualize as afterwards the independence as poverty. British rules, Britishers rule, Britishers ruled in India for more than that 100 years approximately the near about the 200 years consistently ruled over a country by the Britishers. More than 100 years prior to the British period, traditional industries like weavers, weavers, <coughs> weavers flourishing in India. During the British age, <coughs> Britishers adopted policies to discourage such domestic industries domestic industries which force weavers to let their traditional work force weavers to leave their traditional customs and to become as the tenants and to become as the workers those people those uh, domestic producers 
weavers which earlier as a manufactured the cotton clothes due to as a deficiency of a raw material deficiency of a raw material why the deficiency because raw material raw cotton directly exported towards as a england due to the deficiency of a raw material such weavers left their they left their traditional traditional works and becomes as the workers due to as the economic policies agricultural policies though earlier those were as the farmers they becomes as a tenants why because through as a revenue systems they were bound farmers were bound by the britishers to pay revenue on time to pay land revenue on time in that state when the farmers unable to pay the revenue on time to the company officials their land occupied by the britishers or either such farmers they have to sell their agriculture land agriculture land for the payment of a revenue clear for payment of revenue after the 50 years of indian independence after the 50 years of indian independence we can find that growth of a domestic industries growth of rural economy growth of rural economy through cottage industries through cottage industries we can improve the economic conditions of people but british rule responsible for the poverty trends in india at some of the extent clear british rule clear second reason responsible for the poverty in india as a rural economy rural economy our economy is a predominantly as the rural economy why we called this because our 70 percentage of our job opportunities are directly and indirectly obtained through the primary sector 70 percentage of our job opportunities generated through the primary sector primary sector directly as a through the agriculture those farmers laborers which are directly engaged in a agriculture sector which are required at the time of a laborers required at the time of a sowing period and harvesting period so large number of workers and indirectly means as a those industries which are related with the agriculture sector agro based industries like edible oil industry vegetable oil manufacturing of vegetable oil sugar jute cotton textiles sugar jute cotton textiles such number of industries are dependent on agriculture production if the crops are produced then such industries it can be as a function in our country so they are indirectly providing as a job opportunities 70 percentage of a job opportunities directly and indirectly provided by the primary sector provided by primary sector due to as a such large number of a workforce which has depended on a primary sector there is a one of the kind of a unemployment has existing which is known as a disguised unemployment what another term we are using for a disguised unemployment disguised unemployment it is a situation in which more number of persons are employed comparatively their demand very good dear another term one as a hidden disguised unemployment is also known as a hidden unemployment hidden means those workers which are engaged in agriculture fields the extra workforce employed in a agriculture fields by the removal of a such workforce neither influence over the production means if we include them or exclude them the extra workforce on a agriculture fields not influenced as the production for example there is a one acre of a land is there that land require as a two workers for a production throughout the year if the more than the two per workers are dependent on a that agriculture field such extra workforce is a hidden or a disguise unemployed what another term we are using in context of a disguise unemployment or hidden unemployment har hargun hargun ashmit yes answer hanur singh 
what another term is associated with the hidden unemployment or a disguised unemployment pragun sapra pragun rizul answer vatsal gaba bhavish yes nobody yes vatsal it is also known as under employment note it down under employment disguise unemployment and hidden unemployment all are same in agriculture sector in agricultural sector there are as a such kind of the unemployment is existing due to as such kind of a unemployment the low per capita income is existing in our country if if such extra workforce employed in a other productive sites means industries then we can increase the share of a agriculture sector in a gdp of our country and the problem of a disguised unemployment it will be as a solved and per capita income it will be increased it will be increased no we can use as a partial unemployment hidden unemployment disguised unemployment and under employment under employment clear rural economy responsible for poverty trends in india poverty trends the major production of the primary goods is due to as a 70 percentage of a population which is directly and indirectly dependent on a primary sector activities the share of a primary sector in gdp as a 20 percent but it providing us a more job opportunities it indicates that the industries are the lesser in our country that's why the workforce dependent on a agricultural sector which has uh, explaining that the poverty trends in india poverty trends in india the third reason responsible for responsible for the poverty in india which was given as a remnant as a population high growth of population i think eva given as that point high growth of population high growth of population which we will continue on tomorrow any questions ninth b any questions any questions